Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to be looking at Flat Earth forums, and you would know that if you read the title of this video. We already looked at Reddit, and that was fun, but if you want to go where the Flat Earthers are, you go either here on YouTube or the Flat Earth Society. And that is what I have right here. This, this is the Flat Earth Society. But I bet you didn't know that there are two Flat Earth Societies, at least two Flat Earth Society websites. Yeah, if we go here, we have tfes.org and theflatearthsociety.org. I've no idea why. If we go down to the bottom here, yeah, this is copyright 2013 to 2019, and this one says thriving online since 2004. So this one's newer, this one isn't. I'm going to arbitrarily decide that we're looking at the older one first, because I don't know, 15 years is more than six years, so maybe this one's more mature, who knows? Let's go to the forums. Okay, so this is interesting, controlled opposition mods, because there's a conspiracy theory going within the conspiracy theory. Flat Earthers on YouTube will think that the Flat Earth works one way, and these guys think it works another. So YouTubers think these guys are actually part of a government conspiracy to make to make Flat Earthers look dumb, which, I mean, quite frankly, they, they do it themselves, so it's not like they need any help. <laughs> But this guy says, I hope all mods and admins die alone. And he's upset because he got banned for two weeks. I don't know what else you expected, dude. <laughs> yeah, just to prove them being a controlled opposition management team. I You got banned from a forum, dude. They <laughs> so let's go to Flat Earth General. Rockets can't fly in a vacuum. So this is just a guy posting posting videos, I guess. Oh nope, there there we are. There's there's text. There's a lot of so this is a lot of text, and I'm not gonna read all of it, but uh this is this is interesting. Simple official science debunks the moon landing. It's called Van Allen Belt. The radiation would kill everyone and all electronics. Um, Simple Science says that's not what the Van Allen belt is. Yes, there's um, a decent bit of radiation that would damage electronics and stuff, but it's not a massive amount of radiation that would melt things. And the electronics and people are protected by just having proper shielding. It doesn't take long to look that up. So here he's saying that he doesn't know where all the oxygen was kept for them to breathe. Because a scuba diver's tank will only last for an hour without complicated rebreather technology. So I guess you would need that much cubic feet of air when you're comparing it to a scuba diver's tank, which is totally different. Yeah, see, the breathing gas is delivered at a pressure equal to the ambient water pressure when you're scuba diving. So if you're going by those calculations, then yeah, you're gonna you're gonna come up with with a huge number that is wrong and flawed because we're not breathing straight oxygen from a tank and then releasing it into the water where we can't breathe it again. The oxygen in the lunar module was recirculated, so it's it's totally different. And if we're going by this estimate of people consuming about 19 cubic feet of pure oxygen per day, then yeah, the, the lunar module had plenty of air with uh, 6.7 square meters, that many cubic feet. You had plenty. Oh, and it looks like uh, YouTube is shutting down his channel and he's got a whole bunch of proof. Jeez. Okay, in this video, you see that, uh, some of the stuff he was posting is, uh, very questionable. And copyright strikes, which suck. I've actually had a couple of those myself. It's so annoying. When somebody manually claims your video, you... you can choose to appeal. 
but you're not appealing to YouTube and, and YouTube isn't sifting through these and seeing whether or not the content is actually there or if you were within your rights to use it. You appeal to the person who claimed in the first place the, the whole process of you trying to appeal someone else claiming your video is them saying, hey, this is our content, I take your money. You say, no, I'm within my rights to do it. Can you reconsider? And them saying, no. And then you say, well, can you look at it again? And them saying, no. That's, 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 <laughs> that's your options. Until eventually it goes to court and you're broke because you're a YouTuber making YouTube money. Anybody who can afford a lawyer can just bully you. But Mr. Conspiracy Theorist, I don't think they're out to get you. In their mind, YouTube is shutting down all the people spreading the truth of the shape of the earth. Except Jaronism still has his channel. Mark Sargent still has his channel. Eric Dubay, Flat Earth channels are allowed to exist. And this guy says it boils down to this. Rockets don't need atmosphere. It pushes itself off own gases. Good luck with that. Now try and explain why and how rocket pushes itself off own gases. It's, I, if, take a balloon. If you inflate a balloon, don't tie it and just let it go, it's going to shoot off. You know why? Because the air in that balloon is pressurized by the rubber, so it forces it out, and that action of air being forced out of the balloon creates a reaction of the balloon flying forward. Now just imagine the same thing, but with fuel. Now imagine if that fuel was on fire. Oh wait, this is your explanation, isn't it? At the very moment of the exit, at that spot, is not vacuum anymore. The gases are still under pressure. At the next moment, they were gone backwards, but the rocket already received the increase of speed forward, ready to receive next increase by the next layer of gases. Alright, let's look at another thread. Why not? Hopefully we'll get a little bit better English, a little, a little better communication skills. There's no heliocentric system. There is a dome and rockets coming in contact with it creates a visual effect for all to see. Here, this is solid evidence of a rocket hitting the dome. Hitting the dome in 3, 2, 1. Boom. Oh, it hit a solid dome in the atmosphere. Except if you if you look at it, uh, this footage is sped up. And when it hits the dome, that sped up footage is simply slowed down to normal speed. I mean, look at that transition. This is sped up video slowing down. Same with this other shot. See, look at it. I've, I've seen this video like on, on like a ton of flat earth stuff, but, but they never link to the original. So I have no idea where it's from. And I don't see how a rocket hitting a solid dome is the only possible explanation for this. I don't know what he's trying to show me here. Oh, impacts the dome here and begins scraping along it, spraying water as it goes. Because like, this is scraping against the dome. Most forms of combustion. They actually do produce water as a product of the reaction. Believe it or not, you can't usually see it because it's such a high heat, it's water vapor. But if you're at an altitude high enough, then that water vapor can condense pretty quickly and form the trails that you're seeing. It's, it's not <laughs> water falling from the dome being scraped, and it's not chemtrails, it's, it's water vapor in the atmosphere. It's, it's, a, it's a cloud. The rocket hitting a dome is not the best explanation for this. Here's one best video proof of Flat Earth. I mean, I'm guessing that's all the uh, conclusive video proof that they have. Let's go Flat Earth Q&A. How does the sun create energy on a flat earth? I don't have a good reference yet, but I believe that many subscribe to a theory that the sun is not the source of Earth's energy. So that's kind of what I was saying. 
particular claims that what we see is a reflection in the dome of a sun inside a mountain in the North Pole, and it derives its energy from the heat of the Earth. What? So, so there's like a, a bright light source in the North Pole, and the dome reflects it somehow that rotates. Let's go to Flat Earth Believers, a board for debate and discussion among Flat Earth Believers. Ridiculous thoughts of globalists. So he's just quoting. Okay, yeah, none of this makes sense without looking at it first, so. So this is the same guy saying that we know the sun is fake and imaginary. It seems that the direction of light in left and right come from the gap are different. Let's use the paving stones to make sure of that perspective or really different. I, he did math apparently. How is it possible? How is it possible? More time, the sun seems as fake. Oh boy, you can't be serious. You know what? I'm going to see if I can just go to street view. It might have changed since then. No, no, it's still there. Yeah, see, it's... okay. It, th th there's a very obvious line right there. You see? You see how the shadows don't match up because it's a composite image? I can't. Yeah, you can see it a little bit up here. How the, the, the lines on the gate don't match up is because it's two images stuck together. Okay, this guy gets it. This guy, this guy understands. This is a composite image produced from a moving vehicle taking multiple photos as it goes and from multiple cameras. <laughs> this is funny. We know the sun is fake and imaginary. Scientist wise, dumbest post, October 8. Oh boy. Let's move on.